How's it going, boxing fans? This is Liberal 185 right here. Um, this is my take on the upcoming fight between Keen Arthur Abraham and Andre the Matrix Durrell, uh, Saturday, March 27th, t uh, 2010, at Joe Louis Arena in Detroit on Showtime. And uh, just to start off with, um, just to give a little a review of what happened. Um, in the first stage of the Super Six Super Middleweight Tournament, uh, Carl Froch beat Andre Durrell. What many say was a very close fight. Personally, I think Andre Durrell got robbed. I think he outboxed Carl Froch. I think Carl Froch didn't do anything to win the round, to win the fight, and it was a split decision. And um, uh, two judges gave Froch scores of 112-115. So, um, again, I think that was a hometown decision for the champ. But um, I hope Andre was able to shake it off and get focused on his next fight. And his next fighter is Ar Keen Arthur Abraham, which is coming off a knockout win over Jermaine Taylor. Jermaine Taylor, former, former undisputed middleweight champ. Um, Arthur Abraham is undefeated, 31-0. Andre DeRoe is 18-1 with his one loss, champion Froch. And uh, as you all know, Arthur Abraham beat the likes of Edison Miranda and Jermaine Taylor. Not many wins, but he has defended his IBF middleweight title uh, a number of times and then moved up to super middleweight to fight uh, in, the, in the Super 6 Classic. So, uh, and again, this fight's taking place uh, 27th of March. It was originally going to be in February, late February, but um, Andre Durrell supposedly had a back injury. And uh, Arthur Abraham even said that he doesn't really buy it, but he's like, whatever. He wants to fight in Joe Louis Arena in Detroit. That's fine with me. You know, he's going to need it. Uh, Abraham doesn't believe Andre's 100% mentally ready. So he thought that he came up with this injury, supposedly, to... Uh, and to buy more time, and um, I mean, I, and, and things happen in camp. You know, sometimes you get hurt, and uh, I don't think Abraham should be criticizing that. But um, Arthur's a very outspoken man. He's talked the talk, and he's walked the walk. So um, he can say what he wants. And um, Andre Duro was a silver medal, was a bronze medalist, rather bronze medalist in the middleweight division of the 2004 Olympics, has 231 amateur wins. So even though he lacks recognition on his pro record, he had an extensive amateur career, which is, I guess, uh, a silver lining into his boxing career. So, I mean, he he's no bum, you know. He, he does have credentials. So, um, okay, on to the take of the fight. Um, I think our Abraham's going to take this by a very convincing, unanimous decision. Um, I don't see Andre Durrell hurting him. I mean, if a guy, if somebody breaks your jaw and you keep fighting and you win, no one can hurt you. And especially with that clamshell defense that Abraham has, uh, Durrell ain't hurting Arthur whatsoever. It ain't happening. So um, the key for Andre Durrell to win this fight is just going to be to outbox him. Get in and get out. Get in and get out. Jab, jab, jab. Um, after you know, after when if Abraham makes combos, he'll maybe he'll drop his hands. Andre needs to capitalize on anything he can. He needs to time his counter punches, and like I said, get in and get out quick and efficiently. Because I mean, Carl Froch, I mean Carl Froch can't be hurt either. But and he outboxed him. But I mean, neither fighter looked good in that fight. Andre Duran needs to look superb in this fight. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the fact. It doesn't matter that the fact that. The fight's taking place in America. He needs to convince the judges. And Arthur Abraham isn't going to get hurt. And he's going to fire back with his own shots. And I wouldn't be surprised to see some knockdowns. Maybe even a knockout win for um, Arthur Abraham. Because Abraham does have that that explosive power. And if he lands a really good shot on Darrell's chin, which hasn't been tested. Andre has been knocked down a few times in his career. If he gets a good shot on Darrell, he might go down for the count. So, uh... And, I mean, and again, like, you know, Andre Durrell's young. Maybe he does have the speed. I mean, that's his only advantage, his speed. But um, I'm pretty sure Arthur needs to do a good job on cutting off the ring, demonstrating good ring generalship. He, you know, he he can't appear one-dimensional in this fight because if he does, then maybe, you know, that just gives more leeway for Andre Durrell to outbox him and work around the ring, you know, kind of, you're going to see like, kind of like a Sugar Ray Leonard, Oscar De La Hoya, uh, kind of just, you know, bam, 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 and just dance around the ring try to get out of there because if you know like I said Abraham can't hurt Durrell really easily so um but nonetheless this is going to be a very interesting fight a very exciting fight uh March 27th I uh, believe this yeah it's coming up this Saturday on Showtime Joe Louis Arena in Detroit it's in Durrell's backyard and uh, I believe Durrell's going to know the support he needs you know he's going to need a couple of thousands of screaming fans in support of him because and I kind of thought this was a bad decision with Andre Durrell going into the Super 6 middleweight tournament so early in his career. The guy is not even 25 years old. And, uh, you know, he's already... Uh, well, actually, no. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, my bad. He's 26 years old. But even then, you know, he doesn't have that many people... Then He doesn't have that many names 
uh, on on his record, and he's going in, he's going in the tournament with elite guys like you know Mikael Kessler, Andre Ward, and Arthur Abraham. And you know, to, for somebody to say that he's going to win the tournament is very, I guess, idealist. But Andre Ward has to do a lot in this fight to win it, and just because he got robbed in, in in the UK doesn't mean that he might get a gift decision in, in this fight. So he's going to do a lot of work in this fight. And he's going to have to be really careful with a fighter like Arthur Abraham. So, um, But again, I take Arthur Abraham by unanimous decision, uh, by a very convincing decision, and I wouldn't be surprised to see a knockout win for him. So, um, and again, um, feel free to respond, uh, post your comments, uh, convince me otherwise. This is all for boxing fans. So, um, again, March 27th on Showtime, Andre Durrell versus Arthur Abraham, stage two of the Super 6 Super Middleweight Classic. Peace.